Hello and welcome. Ooh, hopefully I don't look that blurry in real life. And I got an echo. Get rid of that bad boy. Hopefully everyone's doing well today. The screen looks really blurry. Hopefully it's just the stream. Let me take a quick swab of the lens. Sorry for that nasty blackness. Just making sure that everything is good and it's just not Twitch showing me as massively blurry, which it looks like it is now. Oh well. You're not here to see my lovely face. You're here for the code anyway. Or my bad dad jokes, one or the other. So today we are going to be working on updating our contacts application to do two things. One is uh, update the version of the Microsoft Identity Web Platform and two is fix a annoying bug in the code, more so my code because um, we have to end up clearing cookies every time we start, mostly because we're not doing any caching of the credentials or anything. So I'm going to try to fix that today. Uh, so if you're watching any part of this stream in the past, we have been using this new, excuse me, library uh, called Microsoft Identity Web that uses Azure Active Directory for credentials and others. We started with version.1.14 and updated to 1.15 and it's super early in its life cycle. I mean, this was updated seven, 10 days ago, uh, but in full transparency, I'd like to be on the latest and greatest of stuff. So we're going to see if we can get this working. Now, there are quite a few breaking changes in here. Hopefully, Jenny F19 outlined them all in this uh, post. So I'm going to be following along with this. And so we don't swap back and forth. I am going to put this blog post for this uh, release notes on a separate screen. But if you are following along at some point, you can go to this page to see all the changes. So let's swap over. So the first thing we're going to want to do is one, make sure I have the latest and greatest because it bit me the other day. I didn't have the latest on this machine because I was doing work on another machine. Pretty sure I don't have the latest. So let's go and do that. Yeah, I have the latest. Well, I have four changes. What do I have four changes? Why do I have four changes? Oh, I started playing with some of the reorganization and just the writer stuff. No worries. Uh, so let's do the update. So I'm going to go to NuGet first and see what updates I have. Should take a second or so. There's a lot of updates. Coverlet, any framework core, mocking, swashbuckle, all minor updates so far. Nothing else is listed as an update. And Microsoft Identity Web is not listed as an update and that's because I have this pre-release turned off. So if I click on that, it'll do a new search and that should appear as something to be updated. We're not going to go and update all the other ones, just the identity web and whatever its dependencies are. There's a big version update here for Auto Mapper. Um, uh, why are you not showing? Yeah, there it goes. Now it shows. Guess I had to click on it. So I only need to do it in the web UI. That's weird. Thought I need to do it other places, but why? How come it's not in the API? It should be in the API, unless because of inheritance, it's thinking in elsewhere. Or now I'm in the solution. Oh, well. 
Let's update that one and then we can check why it's not in the API. Ooh, that's not good. Detected package downgrade from 2.0 to reference package directly from, oh, and I probably have it hard coded in one of these packages to do it. So let's go and fix that. Here we have a reference to version 1.5 and the other package that should have it is here. So let's see what that one says. One five. I don't know. Oh, because it's referenced twice, maybe. I don't know. Let's go and just change it here. That's fine. Hit save. And let's go here to API 2.0. Hit save. And all those shit updates, you can see towards the bottom, it's clearing up. If you're in the, if you're watching, say hi in the chat, I'd like to know people here. And let me know if I'm super blurry. In the admin panel, it's showing me as very blurry right now, as well as the screen. And if it's that blurry, I probably want to change the setting because you can't really see anything I'm doing, or at least I can't. So, installation failed still. Where did you fail? Well, that could be the previous one. Installation failed, project web API, rolling back packages. Uh, that was at 359, which, where's my cloud? Oh, that was the previous update. So we should be good. Uh, and let's try it because if I build we should get failures now because some other API changes. Control search B close you for now. So one message pop by. Yeah, a couple of them. They're obsolete. Well that's nice of them. They went and marked them as obsolete. So the package will the app will still work, but telling you that, hey, you need to upgrade. So let's go and take a look at what we need to upgrade. So if we look here, some method names change. So let's go back and just change those method names. And I believe they are all in the web UI part in startup. So this adds sign in and I even get the uh, squiggly lines telling me that they need to be updated in writer, which is cool. Let's see if alt enter fixes it for me. No, it doesn't. Bummer. But it tells me I'm using an obsolete method and this change to add Microsoft web app authentication so that one changed and where's the other one broken this one changed too and that changed to add web app calls protected api add microsoft web api authentication uh, let's see if that's the right one. Add web app authentic. No, that's what I want. Add Microsoft web API authentication. Nope, that's probably not the one I want. There's an add authentication. What was it called before? Add web app calls protected API. Oh, add web apps calls protected web, web API should be add Microsoft web app calls. Add 
Microsoft Web App Calls Web API. Wow, that's pretty verbose. But I get it. And where does that sit? Was I get the right name? Control Z. Add web app calls protected web API. Add web app calls protected web API. Let's just copy and paste the text. And no, it doesn't exist somewhere. Where do you not exist? Let's see if there's anything else in the documentation. Rename, token cache options, removed, remove, web has, yeah. New features, we'll look at the new features later. No. Nope. I mean, and less resharper just didn't pick up that new package, but I had to pick up that new package because it's showing me that. Use add Microsoft Web App Calls Web API. That's what I typed. Where are you? Where should you be? It is not. In here, could probably get rid of that. What package is that in? Well, let's go check the code. Da da da. Let's search for this using GitHub and find out what namespace it's in. No, I don't want to do that. OV. Hey, aren't you working? Build source Microsoft Identity Web App Extensions Web App Builder, Microsoft Web App, Partial Authentication Builder Extensions, Add Microsoft Web API Call. Yeah. I have it right. Microsoft Identity Web. So let's try this. Microsoft Identity Web is there. So it should see that unless I type something wrong. Uh, let's see if I can increase the font size. No, I forgot to downgrade my resharper, my writer. I found a bug in it that's causing my app to not work, or not causing the app to not work. And yeah, it is not seeing it. Why are you not seeing it? And ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Ooh. I'm sorry if you're still seeing that. I hit the power button because it's right next to the delete button. So hopefully it didn't, you can still hear my voice and didn't hear me first at it. But I have delete buttons right next to it and if I move my fingers too quick, I tend to hit it, which really stinks. Microsoft Web. API calls web API. I wonder if it's just because this did not upgrade the dependency. Let's double check. Packages. Ah, huh. yeah, it's there. 2.0, that's right. Uh, 
Identity Deposit in there. Is there another Identity Web that's in here? Well, you know what I should do? Let's clean the solution. That usually fixes a lot of problems. Uh, how do I do that? From here, it doesn't look like there's a menu option for that, but there is up here. So let's do Clean Solution and hopefully get rid of that. Everything was cleaned. Startup is still red, but that's because it's not seeing that. So let's do services and see what we have here. It's showing that one because it assumes that I'm creating one because it can't find one. Which is not good. Why is it not? there why are you not present unless my documentation is just off and then i can submit a fix for it but let's go back to the old one um, let's so this is saying it's not there. And if I hover over it, is obsolete use add Microsoft Web API calls on the result of a. Oh. On the result of a. Uh, Add Microsoft Web App Authentication. So that's somewhere. Oh, here. So that is telling me to do that here. Add Microsoft. There it is. Microsoft Web. Oh no, it's not there. Add Microsoft Web API calls, Web App calls API, right? Add Microsoft Web App calls API. Whew, that was rough. Let me make sure I got the rest of it right because there was a token provider in this. So let's get the configuration and strings right. Doesn't want the scopes. Probably because the scopes aren't initialized yet. Yeah. So let's move you down to here where you were so that our scopes are initialized. And let's move you on a new line so we can see it. Get rid of you. Now we're good with that. Uh, nothing else is complaining in here. Let's go back up to the API and see what's complaining. Well, oh, what's complaining in here. So this, we don't want add protected web API anymore. We want it to say add uh, Microsoft Web API authentication dot. I don't know, this is all we need to do. Right, services dot add protected Web API comes into add Microsoft Web API. There's another way to do it, but that looks good. Let's get rid of this. I don't know why I had that in there. That's usually one of the first things I do. So we are good to go. That green is fine. Okay, so everything looks good from a build standpoint. Let's build. Make sure we are working. Okay. 
a build is good no warning so let's see if there's any other changes we need to make uh, okay see wiki for migration assistance well we can go there if we need to fingers crossed I figured it out rename memory token cache sliding we didn't use that it's fine remove the we didn't use that remove single token acquisition property we didn't use that Microsoft identity web now has yeah we didn't use that yet okay good we should be good uh, so let's run this and make sure we are actually really good So launch the API first as usual and then go and launch the web UI and try it out and let's go here web API launched on a different screen which always happens this is what we really care about so authentication looks like it's working so far because my name is still here and I'm logged in now if everything else holds true as soon as I click contacts I'm gonna get an error because our cookies are outdated and it doesn't automatically clean up oh it's the first time I ran it for the day so it knows it's bad next time we come it'll break No, I haven't broken yet, Brian. But I like your uh, haircut. Ah. This broke. Hey, jinx it, Brian. As soon as I looked up, it broke. Nice. Invalid status code. Oh, darn it. I did this again. It's my Mac. Sorry, I forgot to start SQL Server on the machine. One day I'll remember to start it all. Give it a minute, it'll come back. <laughs> yeah, thanks. This time I got it working on the first shot, which I'm happy. Uh, as soon as Docker's ready, I will start it, which looks like it's ready now. Yeah, start this. Check the logs. Haircut looked pretty good, Brian. I was actually just saying today how I need one desperately. I've been using a trimmer at home and getting the sides top, but the back is a mess. I tried today to do some of it and it's not terrible, but I turn the camera a little bit this way or this way you can see that I got the uh, what's the phrase uh, business in the front party in the back going on and just a mess okay this is working now if I hit refresh yes there is something about a fresh haircut that makes you feel good uh, why are you still not working? Didn't it start? I thought you started. Yeah, it's up and running. It's up and running. One of the things I notice that I do when I have these problems, especially on the stream, I do a lot of sing-songy voices, and I notice that a lot of different streamers have something that they do like uh one lady i uh watch Alyssa, she talks in a funny um funny to me at least accent when she's talking when she's running into issues i get sing-songy and then sometimes i i talk like lilo others just get frustrated and probably mute themselves Invalid requests. Oh, oh, that's because this probably failed. So let me just restart. 
of the UI. Actually, going to restart both of them because the exception probably became a fatal exception. Start, do, 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 start, do, 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 do. While we're waiting for that to restart again, Brian, did you realize it was me on your stream earlier today talking about Griff and others when you were talking about money management? Or doing something differently? I always find it very weird having that cool. Oh, having that conversation because sometimes there's a delay in the back and forth. Like when we were first doing this authentication. Uh, I had some of the guys from the uh, Microsoft Identity team on the stream, and they were trying to figure stuff out. As I'm typing, they were like, no, don't do that. And then I realized it broke, and then just waiting for the back and forth. And it's challenging at times. And this is where we should get the known bug. Oh, it looks like it fixed it. I may not have to fix the bug. Or read, execute. Why are you breaking? <laughs> uh, the service is not running. State scope. Oh, it looks like my authentication might be broken. Controller index, contact get async, execute get async. No, it, well, it might be busted in there. Let's do this. Let's clean up all these cookies because that has been the root of all evil with this right now. So those cookies are gone. And let's just make sure there are none in the API itself, which I don't think we have any in here. Yeah, there's no cookies in here. And go back to the very beginning. Login, got a fresh update, has me listed here. Click on contacts, still get a failure. Let's see if it's identity or there's something wrong with the database. So I am gonna stop both of these and start them in debug and see where I might have broken it. I didn't really do anything with the code. It's just literally changing that authentication. Oh, did I change here? Yes, I did. Ha, database is not working because I took it out. Hey, take it out. That was a change we saw earlier. Sometimes just talking out loud fixes problems magically. Yeah, there's a change. I don't know why that happened. Let's just roll back that change. Now it should work. Can't connect to a database if it doesn't know what database to connect to, Joe. Duh. Simple problems. How's your time off last week, Brian? You really held true to not being on Twitter and social media. It's nice. I tried to do that last week or two weeks ago. I took a week off, but I spent most of it just coding, streaming. That's what I like to do with quiet time. I'm doing more and more of it lately. Uh, so let's see, start the web UI next. You'll probably notice in my stream, I don't have a lot of funny things. And apparently this shirt color is really bad here because it's too close to blue I need to fix the lighting oh it's probably because this just came on as full screen white I change my monitor and see if that helps with the color coding 
everything coming up to fall white puts way too much light on screen. Oh, come on, authenticate. Authenticate, will you? Huh. Now it's not authenticating. Oh. I put it in debug mode. No, I put it in run mode. I don't think anything stopped. Nope, oh, that stopped. Everything is running. Let us do this. I shall close you and I shall delete all these cookies. No, I, he is, Edge is just not happy right now. Checking all my other windows, make sure nothing else is going. Yeah, still broken. Still broken. Now it's not broken. It's just the authentication part. So now we are working. If I click home, it works. Click contacts, it works. If I add a contact. Brian, in case you didn't know this, when someone shows up on my stream that I know, I add them to my contact list. Not really, but I just use their name because I get tired of typing my name all the time. And we all know that Brian is really old and was born in 2000. It's safe. Yep. Everything is working. Cool. So I kind of want to do a git and check that in before we go and try to fix the other bug. But I wonder if the other bug was fixed by the upgrade. What is that? I've never seen that emoji before. Is that a custom emoji for you? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Nice. I like it. Especially if I zoom in, it really does look like you. Very cool. I don't rate yet. I haven't gotten the emoji part, and I don't have enough. And I'm not at affiliate status yet. I average in the last 30 days 1.7 viewers at a time. I hit all the other metrics, just not that one. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's only been for two months, and I'm not doing this for affiliate status or anything. More so learning from me and helping others, which is why we do a lot of community stuff anyway. Uh, so let's stop all. What is that? <laughs> you throwing in the towel? Is that what it's supposed to be? I love the uh, little purple mask across. Bring it on my screen so everyone else can see what it looks like. Throwing up here. Oh, yeah, nice. That's awesome. If you watch the rest of my code, that'll be... That's the case right now. Uh, so let's see what we have here. Ah. Yeah. Get status. Uh, just make sure there's nothing else that needs to get added. Git add. Git commit minus m. Updated the Microsoft identity dot web. Git push. And if you were on the stream yesterday for Tuesday, you would have seen that we got the Git actions working. So behind the scenes, it is now publishing that to the web, or now it's publishing it. So it's running through our test and everything and once both of these are there we can go and validate that it works we can also see if that bug still exists in the preview version or if i need to uh, update it i still want to switch to the sql provider anyway and not use the memory provider because i think that's what's causing all the problems with the identity
still waiting to add all those cool little things like earning points and I apparently have a followers only chat which I don't I don't see why anyone would do that I guess if people violate and start doing things I haven't been raided in a while but then again there's usually no one on when I'm on yeah I don't see why anyone would do that unless I, I mean I've been on streams with others where people just blanket post in there hey come join me or I can guarantee you more followers etc I can see that but just want those want to force people yeah I don't see why you know if you're doing it for a living and trying to make money off of it and you know I can sell sponsorship because I have X number of followers and sure but it's not the reason why I'm doing it cool so everything was published let's go to the URL which is coding with JG you have to actually spell it out in my head because that's what we created since we don't have a custom domain for it this is the first time we're coming to it obviously you have to rebuild so it takes a second or so for um, Azure and IES to kind of spin up but there it goes we are here click on contacts still get the bug see you man thanks for joining say hi to the missus cool so this is because of the bad cookies so I am going to clear the cookies oops I'm going to clear the cookies and try again to make sure the bug still exists which i'm pretty confident it does exist only because the provider we're using contacts oh come on first time first time takes a while for some reason this site authentication is great but other than that it's slow now, if I close this, let's just copy out the URL and come back in. Yeah, okay, it still works. Cool, so let's go and fix that bug. And the bug is inside of the web UI, I believe. We added it, I added a to-do comment for it to fix it somewhere where are you da, 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 da. where did you go there should be a to do is it in here oh no it's in the uh, main part so right here there is a hack you delete all the cookies so Let's go and get rid of that for now. We were only doing development, which is why I was working in development. So I am going to comment that that for now. We'll come back here and do that. And we don't need this anymore since that was for our demo. We only really want this. So how do we go and fix that? There was something here. You were playing along called token caches add in memory token caches and we don't want to do that we want to add in the SQL server one add in SQL server token caches let's see if it's now I got the name wrong that's fine I don't remember what the name was off the top of my head and I might not have that added so ooh. oh that's the options let's go and take a look web API extensions I don't think we need that one I think we need the token here it is token cache providers distributed 
is what we want. Distributed token cash options. Adds both app and per user dot net core distributed base token caches. Add the distributed token cache, and I think we need to add a provider to it. So let's go and do that. Let's get rid of you. Get rid of you. Add in distributed or add distributed token caches. And then I need a provider for it. If I remember correctly. Now let's go back to here because it has instructions on what you need to do. And that is in here, I think. Nope. Where are you? Where are you? Web apps, protected web apps. There's a bunch. I'm looking at the side. There are a bunch of wikis. Web apps. That's why I use token cache realization. Add distributed. This token cache is for ASP. Therefore, enabling it choose between distributed memory cache, a Redis cache, distributed end cache, or SQL Server cache. Let's see, the, open that up in a new tab, and maybe there's I can get it from here. Services. Uh, this is what we need right here. So let's do it here because I'm trying to keep all the authentication stuff together. And that didn't work. Services that add distributed. I probably, yes, need to add token providers. So let's do this. And then I got distributed in there. Let's see if this one, if I can do SQL distributed dot. No, where do you sit? Where are you? And distributed SQL server cache. Well, let's check the docs. The cache implementation allows for that, yeah. App should, the app should manipulate cache files using, yeah, I don't want to, just there. Why are you not seeing the wrong, oh, do I not have the package? Yep, I need a package for Microsoft Extensions Caching SQL Server. So, where are you, NuGet? Microsoft dot extensions dot was it caching or distributed caching? dot sql that one and I don't want the preview of that one so that should be good let's add you to the mix and then we're going to have to install that into our database or create a separate database for it. So let's see. Now it highlights as green. Do we want to create a separate database for it? Uh, 
I don't think we really need to. Uh, do I have the settings here? I think my settings outlines it. Settings dot. Nope. Uh, configuration dot connection, get connection string. And then we need to give it a name. So what is the name of our connection string? Oh, this is in our web UI, which means we don't have a database for it. Ah. We're into this problem the other day when we were doing the logging. Uh, let's go and copy out this. And move that to here. And do connection strings and then paste it there and hopefully I got the spelling right. Connection strings. Yep. So let's copy you in because we need the same for prod and then just remove the SQLite because we're not using that one anymore and copy this name and give that here so now it should be able to connect but we need to give it a name, token cache. Now we need to actually physically create that table. Why is it complaining? What is it complaining about all that? So let's check the docs. See what it says. Create a table in SQL by running SQL cache create command, provide the SQL instance, and table name. Huh. That doesn't seem too terrible. Just have to change the name. So let's go to our terminal, paste that in there but we have to change the name of the actual database. So let's go back to you. Copy and paste you. Copy and paste you. And we're gonna to wanna to go back and change this in prod or at least copy that table out. But if we get this working, that should be relatively easy. And what did I call it? I didn't call it test cache, token cache. Token cache. Now we should be good to go. I don't have that global tool. Dot net tool install minus global dot net cache equal cache why can't it just give me the script right here why do we need to install a tool to get a script let's make sure there isn't a script already here It just seems silly to have to install it. Oh well. Okay, it's installed. Now let's run it. Error occur trying to create a table. Oh, because that user is not, doesn't have permission. 
Pa 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 pa. What should I do? I don't want to share the SA password on screen. Let's see if there is a way that I could just do like generate this script and then we could run it on a different screen. SQL cache. See, the only option is create. Bah humbug. Bah humbug. Uh, uh, let's see. I. I guess I can log in on a different screen and do it, but it kind of stinks. Let me see if there's a, if we can find a script for it. Uh, ASP.NET or distributed cache SQL script. Someone's got to log it and put it up there already. That's the interface. As a result, nice. Here it is. Up and up, up, Cool. So let's start with uh, do Azure Data Studio. New and fancy. Go to connections, and I believe this is local. New query. God, just a new query from there. Why do I do it again? I have two of them. One that remembers a password, one that doesn't. Kill me. Now if I paste this, and do we call it cache table? Why do I keep forgetting already? Uh, token cash. Oh, so, let's call this token. No, data. Token cash. And make sure all the other things are right. Token cash. And that should be good. So let's run that. And it's created. Yay! Now we have tokens in there and everything. So if we run this, we should be good now. Do I still have the API running? No. Run the API. And then let's run this. Make sure it works. I'll keep that page open because I'm going to reference that in the show notes. Contacts. Ah, oh, invalid object name. DBO token cache. Did I misspell it? Did I misspell you? DBO token cache. No, it's there. It's in the contacts database. Let's go and look. Tables, DBO, token cache, columns, there, there, what are you complaining about? What did I do? Invalid object name, SQL, token acquisition, get toker. Uh, 
should do cash manager, token cash provider, data operations, invalid object. Oh, I, yeah, but, 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 uh, no, I'm thinking maybe the permissions, I didn't grant access to this table. That shouldn't, that should not be, they just have DB read and writes to that user. Should see everything. You can double check it and log in with that user. Which I thought we had a separate account for it. You query local host. Not that one. Let's do this one. And then we call the contacts underscore user and the password. Oh, password one, I think. And the server group should be coding with Joe G. And let's remember the password for this one. Hit connect. Ah, I got the wrong password. What is the password for you? I thought I had it right. All else fails. Copy paste. Now select star from DBO dot token cache run. It runs. So it does have the permissions. Why couldn't it follow it? Why couldn't it follow it? Token, you got the right name, right? Token cash. Uh, startup. Now oh, where'd you go? EBO. Token cash. Database name is right. Huh. I am perplexed with that one. We should be working. Let's see if that blog post had anything. Maybe I forgot something. Hmm. Weird here it says cache table and here it's saying cache. Yeah, distributed sequels. EPO cash. Huh. That is uh, interesting.
Not doing anything different there. See if there's anything in, in that dock that we missed. Nine, ID value expires sliding in absolute. ID value expires at sliding. Yeah, that's right. That's cash. Temple app, if it's a non development environment. Sample app implement SQL Server cache. Connect stream actually schema name or stored outside of source. Yeah, we know that. Oh, excuse me. It looks like it's right. Uh, not doing anything wrong. Only difference is just the name of the table. That name of the table should match, assuming the name here. Yeah. That's right. I have access to it. I should be able to view it as the contacts user. What am I missing? What am I missing? Uh, where'd you go? Here. Invalid object name. DPO dot token cache. Well, let's just copy paste. Excuse me. Make sure I'm not just seeing anything wrong. Token cash DBO is spelled right. Token cash is there. Do I need to add anything in the identity that I missed? Let's check the identity portion. Oh, do I need to add that? But I added that. And I got added, distributed. Then we're adding this. Let's get rid of that cop that doesn't make sense there. Options, connection string, schema name, token name. If there's any other options. System home. No, I mean, that's it. Table name is right. All else fails, let's restart it and see if that magically fixes it. Start it on another screen. Comes back super fast with the failure. Well, let's try this. SQL exception. And then what is it called? Distributed. And distributed cash on that in case we get anything else out of it. Get rid of this part. 
just in case we get any additional search about that. Oh, did I get the table name wrong? That would be silly of me. Server, database, contacts. No, that's right. Production, servers, database, contacts. No, that's right. Darn it. Open a zip. Simple, quick mistake like that. Not it. I have two database turns off. Got to change the database name. No, that's not it in our case. Got that one already. Gonna go off to a bad start, highlighted category. There's no DBO schema, which is fine. I do you have that table? I do, I swear I do. I can even see it. DBO token cache in the database contacts. I'm not lying. Oh. oh. Just had token cache highlighted so it didn't know what to do. Oh, what else is up? Yeah, that's any framework specific. Let's see if there's anything in here that tells us specifics of what to do. No, it's the class itself. It's supposed to work cache options. Schema name of the table. The name of the table where the cache item is stored. Well, that should work. It is dbl.table cache. Uh, oh, I wonder if because the user is using a default, if we even need that. Let's try that. Let's try that. Could be because we set the default schema to DBO, it might be flaking out. Which I've seen that happen before. Not in this, so it's. Uh, schema name cannot be empty or null. So it's not that. But at least we know it's reading the settings, right? Let's put another table name in there. Figure it out. Well, this is tables SA. That's why I can see it there. Where is the other one? Let me refresh this list. Why is this connection? Let's close this out. Save. I want to keep you there because we might need you. Uh, new server. I don't see the one we want, so let's do server dot contact score user. It should be P A S S W O R D number one. Remember, 
contacts, starting with your G, and connect. It sees it here, so I don't understand why you are not working. Give it another name. Let's just call it log for now and see what happens. You know we're able to add to log before. So it sees it doesn't have that. So that is good. So it might be something with the permissions for it. Let's see what that SQL script did for the create. I don't know if it added something different. No, no, create cluster. No. It's nothing. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba. Invalid object name. Let's see if there's a Stack Overflow answer. I'm guessing I just got a permission thing wrong, but I could be wrong. Yeah, it's wrong connection string. Try changing the order of this. If that changes the results. Mm, they're all the same. Let's see if my buddy Pinal has something to say. He's usually got the answer for everything. Nope, not in this case. Um, let's try this. View the table permissions. View SQL server table permissions. And table level permissions in SQL Server. View definition permissions. I want this script. I want this script. No, that's not it. That's not it either. No, you're not the. And I want grant table of permissions. Let's see if this shows us which ones to do. Oh, that's nice. Just want to out blank. And so, yeah, 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 For a single user for all them, the output. Huh. For a server I want, got a good script. Let's try this. Two down here. Change you to uh, 
what's the name of the table? Token cash. Token cash. And run it. It creates. Let's see what log has. It's just generating a statement for me and not actually checking it. Yeah, it's just generating one. That doesn't do what I want to do. Blah. Oh, why are you not working? Man, this really stinks. What am I? See what this article says. Yeah, I don't want to give them. I want to see them. It's a complicated chart. It's a lot of. Returns a complete list of all grantable permissions. I don't want that returning permissions based on particular view all permissions that are available for a category of securable. Let's try that. And we want this to be token cash. Nothing. Uh, log. Might not be the right script. That's nothing. Not the right script. Turning the permissions granted to executing principal on. Oh, my work. Uh, uses to return a list of effective permissions that are held by the calling principal on a specific security securable. So that would be uh, S A uh, let's do log first. Uh, maybe not. Contacts underscore user and log. I don't have this right. It's have it wrong. Ah, it's killing me. Ah, what to do? What to do? What to do? What to do? You show all permissions. Now list all permissions for database. See if that helps. That's all.
should just create a new So let's no, we probably should have looked outside of master. It just gave me every single permission and I really don't want that. Well, STB, my conference, yeah, master. Temp model, great. There's contacts. Mm, so there's nothing crazy with it. Everyone should, that's uh, not a permission thing. Uh, so what else is failing with you? Let's get you back to where you should be. If I run it, really don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, what to do, what to do. Uh, your SQL query, do you have access to SQL Server you're querying? Can you see a table call? If not, it's a good place to look. Like, creates an object map. If your new DLL you're deploying doesn't match anymore, maybe due to incorrect table name. Table. Check, make sure you don't see name twice. No, it's not it. It seems because I created a table with the wrong schema. Oh. That happened? Listed as DBO. Let's check here. And make sure the schema is right. Schema is right. That wasn't it. Bummer. Let's see if we do a script create what we get out of it. Create table DBO. So that looks right. Create table DBO token cache. Let's correct the tables created. 
Well, I guess I'm going to have to go off screen and create it with the tool. So let me go and drop this. Can I do it from here? Script this drop. In with the wrong user. Drop you. Okay, now if I refresh this, it shouldn't be there anymore. Let's go and double check to see. Uh, open up another window. Code insiders, take you off the screen just in case. Uh, Open recent, get going. Uh, what was the syntax I needed? You know. And copy you, paste you. Okay, they were created. So let's go and look to see what they look like here. Look, it's DBO token cache. Everything is there. So let's go and rerun you. Refresh. It's not working. So I wonder if I have a missing DLL or something else. Microsoft that data that SQL client might be outdated. Let's check that real quick. Is it Microsoft data? SQL client. is implicitly installed. Ah, I don't want to really update it if I don't have to. Uninstall by anyone. I wonder if it's see if there's a who wants it. I want to see who depends on you. Open an assembly explorer, show package on NuGet, show project page. No. Oh boy. No.
Ah, there it is. This version is explicitly referenced by any framework core SQL server. I don't want the SQL data, SQL client. I'm free to update it, but I'm going to do it anyway. But you are only referenced here. Oh, but you are not referenced. I wonder if it's failing because I don't have that library registered in the web. I don't think I have it registered here, so it might be failing as a result. I probably have to restart because it's a new version. Stop and rerun. API, stop and rerun. I'm at a loss. And we've already been going at this for an hour and a half, so I think we are going to call it a day. And I'll look into this some more and see if we can figure it out. Until next time, thanks for joining. Have a great day.